Hey, what's up guys, this is Guy here. Today I'm going to unbox in front of you the UDM Pro SE. This device that was announced about six months ago by Ubiquiti, and now you can get it from the Unify website online, even though it's kind of hard to get it in stock. It's always out of stock. Even if you sign up for the email notification, it never comes. But I had a chance just to visit the website randomly and I found this in stock. So I ordered one and it was just delivered. Today I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to give you the reasons why I'm replacing my 40 gate with the UDM Pro SE. The 40 gate has been a good companion for a while. I've been using the 40 gate in my home network for the last three years, I think. It's a good device. The 40 gate that I have now is the 40 gate 60E. I installed it a couple months ago and it's been, it's been great. That's why it kind of grew in me and I really enjoyed having the 40 gate in my network because of uh, a lot of features that it provides. First of all, some simple features like remote access. Usually when I'm outside of my network, I just launched the 40 client and I can connect to my home network to do whatever, to access my servers or to work on the Windows computer or the, the Windows desktop that I have in my office. And with my one gigabit fiber connection, I have a pretty good connection for RDP. So that's something that I've never had any complaint about. But as you may know, I don't have a license on that 40 gate. So there are some options or some security uh, features that I don't have, like IPS, IDS, and, and, and so on. It's good, I can still do everything manually, but I just felt like I was missing something. And by the way, I reached out to FortiGate to see if they can give me a license because some of my best performing videos on this channel have been on the FortiGate. So I do a lot of good content for FortiGate. So I sent an email to see if they can send me a license. They didn't react at all. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even married to FortiGate. And I usually like to change stuff all the time. So don't be surprised if in a couple of months down the road, I come up with another firewall or another system that I want to use. But for now, the candidate in my home network is this UDM Pro SE here. And if you missed it, I have a whole playlist where I show you how I installed my home network, going from cabling to all the way to the firewall configuration, the switch, the cameras, the APs and everything, it's in there. So if you haven't seen it, it's down in the description. Why did I pick the UDM Pro SE? First of all, my system has already a lot of Unify devices. I have Unify APs, I have a Unify switch, and I also have a Unify cameras. So I want to go all in with Unify and have access to all the features that Unify has to offer in the Unify dashboard or Unify portal. So with this device, I'll be able to see everything inside my network, what comes in, what goes out. I was able to see it with the 40 gate, but it was a different experience. I had to log in into the, the 40 gate dashboard, but Unify is much quicker with the app on the phone and everything. So I can uh, log into it and see whatever's going on. And I have some of the features that I was missing with the 40 gate because of the lack of a license on it. So I have IPS, IDS, and all the security mumbo jumbo. So the second reason is, because I don't like the UCK or the Unify Cloud key that I have currently. I made a video a couple, a couple weeks ago in which I was telling about the issues that I was having with the UCK uh, Gen 2 Plus that I have. Even though after replacing the hard drive with an SSD, it kind of got better a little, so it was, it's fine right now. But I think if I use Unify Protect with the UDM Pro SE, the experience is going to be different because the drive is right next to the router and everything is processed by the, the, the same processor, I think it's gonna be much quicker in terms of accessing my footage or you know recording and, and everything related to Unify Protect. So this one will be my new Unify Protect server and that's the second reason. And the third reason is because I needed some extra port. My current switch that I have right now is a 24 port PoE. I need some extra port. That's why the eight ports that I have on this device here will be very helpful. And the good thing, the eight port here have PoE on them, so I can move some PoE devices to this UDM Pro SE in my network. But I don't have to buy any other switch anymore because I was seriously considering getting the USW48 port, the, the business one, the one that is about $1,000. I was thinking about it, but I think with this one here, I don't need it as much. I have this and I have a couple um, Unify Mini, so it's gonna do the work. So right now, let's go ahead and unbox it. I'm going to show you the device and tell you what I think about it.
wow <laughs> this thing is so heavy okay i mean it's much heavier than the switch way heavier than the switch i'm going to uh, look at the weight and i'll put it somewhere here okay here we have the udm pro se or the special edition it looks exactly like the udm pro that we know except some few differences that i'm going to mention here first of all the eight ports that we have here now support poe just like i said which is a good thing so i'm going to move my ap's to these uh, three ports here because I have three APs and I'm going to aggregate the port 7 and 8 for my main VLAN. I can also add the VLAN 20, I I'll see. And I'm going to put my guest VLAN and uh, some other VLANs on the VLAN number, on the port number 6. And then I'm going to have two cameras on this device, which is very good. One of the big differences is also that this second port here this one port is now 2.5 gig first it was one gig now it's 2.5 and then we have two 10 gig sfp plus ports over here so this one is for one connection i'm going to use it for my fiber connection and the one two will be here for my um, cable connection and the port 11 will go to the nas uh, the network attached storage i need high bandwidth for that and we have the disk enclosure right here this is where you're going to put your disk for unify protect the device itself comes with 128 gig of memory that you can use but you have some restrictions on it you cannot record all the time you need to record on motions and things like that but if you add a disk here it's going to work fine you can use a 2.5 inch drive or 3.5 i have the drive that i showed you last time the ssd the two terabyte that's what i'm going to use here and uh, i hope the experience will be enjoyable and in the back we don't have much we have the 100 to 240 volt uh, power slot we also have um, a slot for the usb connect this is a system that will uh, be like a backup for your uh, unified devices and uh, i don't use that so it's just going to stay like this and let's see what we have in this box so we have a cable which is uh, pretty good it's braided so it's really strong and we also have the ears for the switch this will help the switch be mounted on the rack and we have all the screws and everything that is needed we have this rubber fit and everything included here all right that's all for today guys thank you for watching if you have any question just leave it in a comment and uh, i'll be glad to respond um, i'm going to make a video in about a week from now where i'm going to show you how the installation is done on this device and i can create a couple more videos talking about uh, maybe a remote access vpn talking about how i do the failover with the one uh, links um, all kinds of things if you have any idea of any video that i can do on this leave in the description i'll be glad to do that for you thank you for watching don't forget to like the video on youtube and share it with your community subscribe to the channel if you like computers if you are a network guy if you are a professional and follow me on facebook instagram and twitter and if you enjoy seeing a lot of my project beside or outside of it i have a channel called do it with Guy. go there and subscribe as well thank you and i'll see you in the next one take care and bye